build on the lessons of our own struggles here in New York, build on the examples that we've seen in Quebec, Chile, Puerto Rico, Brazil, Mexico, you name it, and for us to show that a coordinated student power movement in New York City is not only possible, it's not only necessary, but it's being planned in the here and now. That's right! around you, these are your comrades, these are your friends, we're building a movement not just for today, not just for this academic year, but for a lifetime to free education. <laughs> and so what I'd like for us to do is, in building on May Day, for us to be thinking about what we're doing for next week, what we're doing for the weeks afterwards. So thank you all so much, and I appreciate you being out here. <laughs> to get over here and see if this thing's recording. We are live at a student May Day event at Peter Cooper Union. Cooper Union. Free school. Um, they basically attack students who have begun to organize around a disenfranchisement of the Catholic Church. Hooray! Mega Evans College is the only predominantly black um, institution with the community. And we are fighting to stay connected. Hooray! We take in the students who come from a broken education system. Under the CUNY, under CUNY's new move and initiative, they want to go This lady is from the Med Edgar Evers College. Under CUNY's new move and initiative, what they're trying to do it stops students who come in from the public school system into CUNY because they're saying that they're not qualified or ready for or, or college ready. But CUNY was created so that minorities and students that who are who are on a lower socioeconomic structure can come into to CUNY and receive an education that's affordable. Now they're trying to basically make college um, CUNY like a, a private institution that's and basically push Woo! out the students who need it the most. So as you know, currently within CUNY, under their new, since they um, closed open emission, um, African American and Hispanic males, their enrollment into CUNY has dropped by 20%. You're right! This is unacceptable. So we're crying that this is a racist agenda on the behalf of, of CUNY to further dis disenfranchise those who are most vulnerable of society. So I ask you guys to stand in solidarity with us. I'm so happy to be here. I thank you guys for giving us the opportunity to be a part of this great movement. We've been watching and studying what's going here at Cooper Union to implement it and our struggles at Mega Evers College and how we can better get our message across. So thank you so much for having us here at this May Day event. I'm from Student Workers Solidarity. Uh, I'm just going to say a little bit about what we've been doing this past year. We've been involved in three campaigns. The first was involved with the Barnard College Workers uh, from UAW 2110. That was the first. We helped them uh, win a fair contract. The university was trying to cut maternity leave at a women's college. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and sexist. Um, after that, we uh, started a campaign around a, a local restaurant that was uh, stealing tips from its workers and finally in the past couple of months we've been active on Columbia's campus like uh, working in solidarity with workers from Faculty House who are having wages stolen from them from a university with an endowment of eight billion dollars. That is right! Wow. So in the future we want to keep on doing actions on Columbia 
uh, in the local area in Harlem. We want to keep on fighting against racist, corporatist agendas of these universities and we want to work with other universities to achieve all of these aims. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Farida and I'm here as a member of Columbia Students for Justice in Palestine. We are honored to be here and stand in solidarity with you all. Um, and I just wanted to tell you that Columbia Students for Justice in Palestine has recently launched a divestment campaign <laughs> in Colombia. We are asking TIAA CREP, which is the pension fund giant, to divest from the occupation of Palestine. <laughs> Specifically from five companies profiting directly from human rights violations. We are struggling as part of Colombia SJP. We are struggling for justice in Palestine but we are also struggling against the profitability of occupation. Be it the occupation of Harlem, the occupation of Native America, or the occupation of Palestine. We are struggling against settler colonial economies. We are struggling against the military, security, and prison industrial complexes. And over there across the ocean. As students, we can't allow our tuition or, you know, as, as citizens, our taxes to be invested in human rights violations. So here we stand with you in solidarity and thank you for having us. Next up we've got Pete from You mentioned Radio. the military profiteer. Hello everyone, can you up hear Wall me? Street. Yeah. Yeah. Establish that. It's amazing seeing you all here today. It's super inspiring to be surrounded by people who care about education and all the things that have been spoken for, spoken for before me. I'd like to thank everyone for coming in front of this school, which until April 23rd, 2013 was tuition free and had been for 150 years. The words, the phrases, the descriptions of what is happening in all the rest of your schools and around the world is no different than what is happening here. Woo! And that's why we're here today. I'd like to say that as a student of the Cooper Union, I speak as one individual case of the diversity that the school represents and should stand for. Yep. I stand for someone who has been in farther schools and no school compares to this one. No school compares to the free university as well. And I'd like to thank those organizers. And I'd like to say everyone should have a good, fun, positive, productive day as we march forward. Thank you. We also have Mike from the engineering school at Cooper Union. All right, so, um, I originally wrote this, I delivered it yesterday to um, my fellow Cooper Union students. Um, I needed Cooper Union. I was born and raised in Brooklyn. My family couldn't afford any, really, any sort of tuition. So I'm grateful every day that I got a free education. Yeah. So without further ado, um, I'd like to deliver what I call the Cooper Address. On this 1st of May, 2013, May Day, fellow students and all fellow students outside of Cooper Union as well, Columbia, NYU, CUNY, Barnard, you know, just, you can name them. <laughs> so fellow students, and for that matter, I address this to all members of the Cooper Union community, faculty, staff, alumni, family, and friends. The time has come to decide where you stand on the current issues regarding the fate of free education at the Cooper Union for the advancement of science and art. I say the full name of this glorious institution because Peter Cooper, over 150 years ago, founded it envisioning a place where intellect would be integrated with beauty, where the technically sound could be aesthetically pleasing, where there are both artistic scientists and scientific artists. Yeah. It is truly a unique place for a slew of reasons, most of which you know, so I will not waste my breath or your precious time as the semester and as the fate of education draws to a close. 
and the 11th hour of this momentous occasion looms in the distance, like Mount Doom. <laughs> that being said, we're all part of one school and one ideology, and Peter Cooper decided that based on our merit, and the merit of the many generations before us, that we were qualified to receive a world-class education, free of charge, as free as air and water. Sadly, water is no longer free in this world, and the air is being ruined by pollution, most of it by chemical engineers that I've been trained to be. So that's why I'm here, to try to change the future. Because this is not a blame game. We can only learn from the past and not change it. We must forge ahead to the future and create our own history while remaining, remaining focused and determined in the present. All great historical figures had naysayers. Lincoln, Dr. King, Gandhi, Galileo, Mozart, etc. So now you can either decide to play it safe and turn a blind eye or stick your neck out and take action. There, there are not only two alternatives to this problem that has been thrust at the very feet of the Cooper Union and the rest of the educational world. The world is not black and white, but rather so gray that the lines have been blurred to nearly non-existent. So, we do, so do not think that we have to acquiesce to what the Board of Trustees of all of our schools and all of the men in suits have told us. Yeah. Whether it's giving in to partial tuition or the closing of certain aspects of this great school. No, I say, we can work hard as engineers, artists, architects, reporters, lawyers, doctors, Businessmen, finance majors, actors, dancers, poets, musicians, whatever. So, so just as the people in my school have for every single assignment entrusted to us within the walls of this hallowed institution. We are not a college and we are not a university, but rather we are a union. That's right. We shall unite, we shall unite and thrive and sustain the vision of Peter Cooper by working harder than we ever have and united. Cohesion, transparency, and respect among people of all walks of life and all students in Cooper Union is paramount to the success of this movement. I ask only for my fellow classmates their, for their, their signature on a petition stating that they support the cause to maintain Peter Cooper's vision of offering the opportunity to receive a world-class education to all based solely on merit and nothing else. And as for everybody else, I just ask for your support and to keep talking and raise awareness and make this public knowledge. We, are, we plan to deliver this petition to the mayor's office a week from yesterday, Tuesday, May 7th at noon. So I said it before and I'll say it again, tuition will not be charged to the class entering Cooper Union 2014. Woo! And definitely not if we all work together. We can act selfishly, or the students of Cooper, and say, well, at least I got out, got out for free. Or you others can say, no. well, someone else will take care of it. But no, exactly. We can take responsibility for future generations, for our children and our children's children and make sure that Cooper Union remains tuition-free forever and ever. And on, that, uh, on this note, I'll leave you. It begins with the pledge, and it continues with action. I hope to see you all with me on the front lines. in the news. You may have recently heard about us in the news. Because they exposed a scandal. Because they exposed a scandal. In which the NYU administration. In which the NYU administration. Gave golden parachutes. Fat tax and parachutes. Gave golden parachutes. Fat tax and cash. 
to executives and financiers, to executives and financiers, such as Jack Lowe, such as Jack Lowe, who now serves on the Obama administration, who now serves on the Obama administration, and beyond that, and beyond that, they gave big fat loans, they gave big fat loans to their friends in the administration, to their friends in the administration, only to forgive them, only to forgive them. This may strike you as ironic. This may strike you as ironic. At NYU. At NYU. We recently had a vote of no confidence. We recently had a vote of no confidence. In which, in which, the faculty has begun to reject. The faculty has begun to reject the corrupt corporate practices. The corrupt corporate practices of this man. Of this man. John Sexton. John Sexton. Trustees. Why do we need a board of trustees? A better question. A better question. Why do they need so much fucking money? Why do they need so much fucking money? We pay these people more and more every year. We pay these people more and more every year. We find ourselves in more and more debt. We find ourselves in more and more debt. Today we say no. Today we say no. Today we build a student movement. Today we build a student movement. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. Teachers. They're getting higher quicker than yeah! teachers. They're terrorizing our schools. They're terrorizing our schools. They're terrorizing our streets. They're terrorizing our streets. They killed Kimani Gray. They killed Kimani Gray. They killed Chantel Davis. They killed Chantel Davis. They spy on me because I'm Muslim. They spy on me because I'm Muslim. I know all of you are mad. I know all of you are mad. I think anger is needed in the movement. I think anger is needed. I think we have so much collective energy that racism, that racism, whether it be apartheid, Israeli terrorist state racism, whether it be apartheid, Israeli terrorist racism, or the NYPD, or the NYPD, terrorizing my life, terrorizing my life. I want to talk about student debt all the time. I want to talk about student debt all the time. Treated 
like interns, and interns can't be treated like employees. They're two separate things. So when you're an intern, and if you're doing all the same work as an, as an employee, then you have to get paid. I personally was exploited on two internships that I got through my school. I was, I had to, I not only, okay, I had to press elevator buttons for my, for my company. I had to, I had to watch equipment for 14 hours and not get, I didn't get paid for anything. In fact, I had to pay for these internships. I had to pay. And this is completely a class issue. It completely discriminates against minority groups who can't afford to have these unpaid internships because these companies are breaking the law and they're not, they're just letting the people who, have, who can't afford to have these unpaid internships have them. This is also a huge gender issue where 77% of unpaid interns are women. And more people are taking this day and age where women make 78 cents for every dollar a man makes. We think, where does that start? And it could be that the first drug to the latter success is corrupted and it only benefits white men. We have to stop this right now. We are letting ourselves be exploited. I'm starting this petition right now to remove all illegal unpaid internships. That includes for, that is for profit internships that are using their interns as free labor. They're exploiting them and breaking the Fair Labor Standards Act. If you'd like to support me, please do. Uh, let's fight it. that we were having before May Day here at Peter Cooper Park. You're all invited to join us. The second is that you, if you're not already on our text loop, you should join it. You don't, if you, you don't need a smartphone and the number is 23559 and you text student block NYC. Should I say it again? Say it again. It's at text at student block NYC to the number 23559. I'm gonna go get the banners for the march, but it's totally open my shoes. Anyone? We've got a dance party starting tonight at 9 p.m. Dance away your debt, so join us at 9 p.m. at Washington, Washington, Washington Square, Square Park. Park. Thank you, Victoria. Thanks, Victoria. Woo, woo, woo. We're gonna open it up for an open mic for like briefly. So if anyone would like to come speak. Well, yeah. Five minutes of open mic. I got a couple things to say. Everyone said it already. Education needs to be free. We are separate from every other species on this planet because we can pass ideas from one brain to another. We cannot be charged for that right. We need to stress the importance of this institution, yeah. of that man's ideology. He grew up poor, he had nothing, he made so much money, and instead of hoarding it like the fat cats were used to, he gave it back. Yeah! He gave it back. So we can sit around, I can yell, you can yell, we all have voices, but it's more about speaking, it's about action, continued action. Don't forget it. Thank <laughs> you. 
soft already, so I'm not going to get a recipe for that. City on May Day, May 1st, 2013. We got a pause here for something. Let's hold up for a second. Anybody want to? <laughs> I love it. What can I say? Happy May Day. This red patch was a symbol of the Rebeck student pardon I think. Which of course was adopted from the red flag of the Paris Commune. Which of course was a 
democratic movement of labor people, laboring people. Of course, students are, as the Geneva Convention says, intellectual labor are workers. We are presently at 10th Street and 4th Avenue in New York City. On the way to 14th Street, which is where Union Square is at.
and they decided to go straight. They weren't going to make a left here at 12th Street over to Fifth Avenue, but that's uh, quite a ways out of the way, actually, to the Union Square. So they're going to continue straight here on 4th Avenue up here. Oh, just a couple of Union Square is at 14th Street. Oh, sure. And we're approaching 13th Street. Fight, 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 Education the looking poor. Please ask for it, Bob.
This is Union Square over here. You, you see across the street. The people who are already at Union Square. Yeah, well. They've been, uh, a lot of people have been over there for year, hours. <laughs> this is the student <laughs> organization approaching the entrance of Union Square now. We join up with the other marchers. They're going to start marching on Broadway to City Hall at 4 o'clock. This is a student block organization. They're crossing over into Union Square now, 15th Street and Union Square. It's me. Oh, sorry. No, the police are allowing the procession to cross here at 15th Street and Union Square. Into Union Square. Where they are it's not joining them. The people who have, are already here for the May Day event, 2013. This is a major subway station under these here at Union Square. You can see all the different subways that cross here at Union Square. As I say, that's a major subway station. This block is now joining the others here at Union Square.
Broadway over there. They'll be marching on Broadway to City Hall South at the beginning at 4 o'clock. of foreign-born workers from the enslavement of Africans to the indenturing of the Irish and the abuse of the undocumented workers today. Power to the people. All right, next up from Honduras, U.S. Assistant and Director Trevor. In the old days, which was legal. Yeah, I'm 
We are at Union Square, and I am of Collectivist Media, also of the Spokes Council of the Collectivist Commonwealth. I'm going to end this piece of film now because we needed to put in another film. <laughs> Another chip. Yeah.